Hey guys, Cool Breeze here. I'm uh, filming out in my garage. Uh, it's probably the first time I've ever filmed out here, but uh, I was talking about, uh, you know, a couple days ago about the little project I was doing with the tornado tubes. And where I got this from was off of uh, Hiram Cook's page, I believe, um, where he was doing some stuff with it. But what I've done is, is uh, this is the way the Sawyer squeeze filter comes right here. Um, this is just a cap uh, to keep debris and stuff out of it. And then the other end comes with a little pour spout. And uh, this pour spout, uh, you know, you can open and close. You can put it on a, on a bottle um, or any of the bags. And usually your dirty side goes in here, which usually I use one of these. This is, uh, just happens to be the two liter bag. I use a different size depending on where I'm going. But uh, this is the two liter one that comes with the squeeze. This is the newer bag. Uh, I don't use the older bags anymore. But uh, this is what I use as a dirty water bag. Like I said, I use the different sizes. I have all of them. Actually, I bought multiples of them because I use them so much. But uh, so this is how it normally comes. I don't have any water in here. I'm not going to do any testing. But just so you know, normally you hook the bag onto here and then the uh, clean water comes out this end. So. Um, which is cool. I mean, it works out fine. What I had been using is this uh, Evian bottle. This is what I was carrying with me. And um, uh, that's what I've been using for clean water. And I would just uh, unscrew this and I would just pour from here into here. And it, the, the top sits on it very nicely and works out really well. I, and I like that, but um, just to test it out. And I, I really, what I really like now is, is uh, I bought one of these tornado tubes and all it is, is it's more or less it's a it's a uh, kid's toy and um, what it is and I'll show you at the end uh, I kind of uh, uh, did a video the other day when I first got it just to show what what uh, you know what it did or whatever but I was gonna do this video to be more in-depth of why I was doing it so but anyway so I have the Sawyer filter and I I um, bought this uh, tornado tube, and here it is. This is the tornado tube. This is what they look like. And what I did was I just took some sandpaper. First, I cut one off, and this is actually it. I cut it off right here. As you can tell, I cut way too much off. Well, I want to say I was doing like a uh, um, quarter inch, I think is what I took off this, which was way too much. I took it down to the th right at the threads, and I realized that was way too much. So what I did was I just took some sandpaper, and I literally just put this on top of the sandpaper and I sanded it. So I got a, it's almost a professional edge right here. And uh, I just sanded it just enough to where now it completely seats like onto the top in here, onto the top right here. And it just barely has a little room right here. Um, and as you can tell, that's tight right there. So that's, you know, it's perfect right there. I tried a couple of things. I tried to put a washer in here to see if that would help so I wouldn't have to uh, sand this off, but it just never would get just right. I, don't, I may have just been doing something wrong. You may be able to do something better, but once I did this, I realized that the Evian top is a little wider than, uh, than the Tornado tube, so it doesn't fit. So I had to go back to, I used to use these Smart Water bottles, and I got this cap off of one of the smaller bottles, but... Uh, all that is is a flip top cap, but um, that's what I take and that's what I use on it. And uh, with the smaller top now, I can actually screw these together. And I've already tested this. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it unless somebody requests it. But uh, and then the water will go from here to here, and uh, with very minimal leakage. I mean, I, I actually was getting no leakage until like this is a two liter bag, and I was testing it, and this is a one liter bottle. And uh, once this bag, once it filled up, I was getting some leakage out. But while it was filling, I was getting absolutely no leakage. So I don't mind that whatsoever. It doesn't bother me for that to happen. But uh, as you can see, that's pretty much my setup right there. And it, uh, it will pour from here to here. Uh, and it works out, works out well. So uh, that's, that's what I'm gonna start using. Um, you can, you know, obviously, you know, this is a, 
you know, a standard fitting, just like the, uh, the Sawyer Squeeze. So like my Evernew bags, it'll work with Evernew bags. Uh, it works with my Platypus bags. So other than this Evian bottle, and like I said, uh, I'm sure there's other bottles out there. You just have to test and find out which ones work and which ones don't, but uh, it works with the standard, uh, you know, normal caps, normal bottles. And uh, that's what I'm using right now. But again, that's just something that's been modified. Like I said, I cut this back to where it just, it all lined up and fit perfect. You know, like I said, there's a, there's a lip in here that seats down on this that helps it keep from leaking. And I, uh, I just made sure that I sanded it off just enough and it wasn't hardly any material to get it to, to seat. But it would originally, it would seat up like this, like, uh, like this uh, other side over here hasn't been modified. And you'll think it's seated because it'll tighten down. The problem is, is it's not seated on the top cap up there and you'll get some leakage. Uh, from that, but uh, I'm sure you know it knocked a little weight off of that. <laughs> I didn't weigh it. I don't know how much it I, exactly it is yet. I've uh, still been playing with this, but I will eventually weigh it, and uh, and I'm sure the weight the weight that I trimmed off of was pretty minimal. But uh, my kids uh, should be home uh, later today, uh, this afternoon, sometime, and uh, they haven't seen this yet. Uh, they went to a family reunion <laughs> and I couldn't go because I'm on call for work, but uh, I set this up for them when they get home just to play with and I put some food coloring from my video the other day I uh, put some food coloring and some glitter into these bottles But pretty much the way this works is or what it's originally designed to do is you just um, man, looks like I got some air in this. But you just spin it and it should cyclone hadn't been doing that that wasn't cool it's cycloning but not like it should because apparently I got some pressure here it's collapsing the bottle Yeah, normally it'll completely. Empty. Let's see if I can. Uh, unscrew this. Yeah, you can, you can hear how it uh, definitely had some pressure on it. Oh, now I got glitter in the threads. That's okay. I bought like three of these cyclones. Uh, I've got two of them that are perfect that are working right now. Still collapsed in a little bit. Let's see if it'll work better. But anyway, as you can tell, I've just been playing with it. I think I put a little too much glitter in there. Other things it says on the package that you can do is put dish soap in it. I did that. Uh, I wasn't as impressed as I was with the just the regular cyclone action. And the glitter and the food coloring doesn't do anything but add some color so that you can see the water a little bit better. And uh, There we go. There's a good one. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know how well you'll be able to see that on the video, but again, this is cool breeze, enough playing around. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, like I said, this turned out to be a fun project. Again, it's fun for me. I'm sure it'll be fun for the kids when they get home later and I show it to them, but uh, uh, mainly I did this for backpacking. I just uh, decided to share this with you guys if anybody hasn't seen it already, and if not, you know, you can check it out here. Check it out on Hiram's page, Hiram Cook. Other than that, this is Cool Breeze signing off. Till next time.